What's up, guys? I'm Nobody Special, and we've heard a lot in the news lately about the Great Resignation. Four to five million people a month have been quitting their job in the United States. While that's led to a lot of people talking about things like runaway government entitlement programs and that entire generations are just lazy and don't want to do anything, there's actually been one very big positive buried in that story that is not getting a lot of attention, and that is the startup boom. There is a massive wave of new businesses and entrepreneurial spirit coming alive in the United States. And that's a very good sign for the U.S. economy. You ready? Hit it. Thank you for joining me. I'm Jack Gamble and I'm nobody special. And it's come to my attention that I might be a little doom and gloomy in this channel, right? I talk a lot about inflation and the fertilizer story and the rising food prices and certainly China Evergrande and the real estate collapse in China. Dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. So I'm going to try to be a little bit more positive in 2022. And there's one really big positive that's not getting enough attention right now. And that is the startup boom, this massive wave of new businesses and entrepreneurial spirit that's come alive in the United States since the start of this unfortunate health situation in 2020. Now, before we get into the details, I have to ask, could you please give me a big positive in that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell? It really helps me out, and I'd be forever in your debt. And with that, it is time to shrink my big, fat melon of a head, and let's get into this story. And this is an NPR New businesses soared to record highs in 2021. Here's a taste of one of them. And while there's a lot of anecdotes in this article, I just want to highlight some of the more important numbers here. America's entrepreneurial spirit remains strong during the health situation. That's the takeaway from new numbers released by the U.S. Census Bureau on Wednesday, which found that a whopping 5.4 million new business applications were filed in 2021 surpassing even the record set in 2020 of 4.4 million new business applications. While it's hard to say how many of these business applications will turn into real money-making ventures, the surge in entrepreneurship appears to be good news for the economy. Traditionally, startups have driven economic recovery and innovation, and with huge disruptions to the labor market and workplaces themselves, a reshuffling seems expected, even necessary. For comparison's sake, there was no such surge and new business applications following the Great Recession. In 2019, the year before the health scare disrupted life as we knew it, there were only 3.5 million new business applications. And just to give you a little bit of a visual representation here, this is in PR Newswire covering the same story. I want to show you this little chart here. You can see 2018, 2017, 2019, right? All relatively flat, around 3, 3.5 million. And then 2020, boom, 4.4 million. And now 2021, that number came in at 5.4 million. So a big, big spike in new business formations. And here we have some of the numbers, 3 million 2016, 3.2 2017, 3.5 in 2018 and 19 alike, and then 4.4 million in 2020 and 5.4 million in 2021. And industries highly affected by the health scare showed the largest gains in new business applications, according to the data. Retail trade applications grew 74% in 2021 as compared to the pre health scare numbers in 2019. Many small business retailers are going digital, with 88% of entrepreneurs saying online sales are an important source of revenue, and 97% indicating digital tech is crucial to their business. In addition to retail, rising new business applications were up 55% in the accommodation and food service sector, while health and social assistance new business applications rose by 23%. So this is a very, very positive story for the U.S. economy, okay? When 2020 came along and everything got thrown out of whack, everybody's life was thrown into chaos, and the economy became less efficient, and there was all kinds of problems, it created gaps in the market. And what we're seeing is Americans, by the millions, are stepping up to fill those gaps with more efficient businesses, more effective products, better prices, and the net result over time is going to be a much more resilient and a much more efficient economy. And I'd also point out that entrepreneurship and innovation that comes along with all these new business startups is going to be a very deflationary phenomenon. As businesses get more efficient, more competitive, that has the effect of bringing prices down so that can counteract some of this inflation problem that we've been talking about on this channel. And if you think our good friends in the government haven't seen this trend and they're already starting to get out in front of it, 
Check out this video that Joe Brown and the Economic Ninja did together over at Heresy Financial. I'll put a link down in the description below. The government has already lowered the threshold for reportability for apps like Venmo, PayPal, Square, all the apps where a lot of these new businesses collect small amounts of money. They've lowered the threshold for reportability down to $600 in a year because they know a lot of the tax revenue that they used to collect from the traditional workforce is going to disappear as millions of people leave the workforce and start their own businesses. So they're starting to target those startups to make sure they can replace that tax revenue. Something to keep an eye on for 2022. And again, highly recommend that video over at Heresy Financial that Joe Brown and the Economic Ninja did together. So long story short, the Great Resignation, while a big story and a very troubling sign for the economy, is not a pure negative. You've got a very big increase in entrepreneurial spirit and startups going on in the U.S. along with this Great Resignation. So it's not just millions and millions of people getting lazy and not going to work. You're also seeing a lot of people are starting their own thing. They're starting that side business, that home business. That's a very good sign for the economy. And you never know, the next big thing could already be out there. It could already be starting. Or the next big thing could be you. This is a great time to start that new business, folks. The tax incentives alone of running your own business are huge. So if you're not sure, if you don't like the direction your career is going, or you've always had that idea about wanting to start that side gig, you're not sure, you never quite took the plunge, this is the time to do it, folks. And you never know, folks, you might just find that you can actually get paid doing something that you love. And if you can get paid to do something you love, then you can't call it work, and you'll never have to work again. And again, on this channel, sometimes I get a little doom and gloomy, and I'm always pointing out that there's this crash is coming on the horizon, or this inflation problem. All right, there's a reason why I look for problems in the economy. I look for problems because that's where the opportunity is. That's where the investments are. That's how you make money. That's how you can fill those gaps that are springing up. So again, if you've ever been thinking about starting that side gig, starting that side job, that hustle, that small business at home, this is a great time to do it, folks, because the economy is in a state of flux right now. Everything is about to change, and you can come out on top of that if you get out in front of it. Guys, I want to thank you for your time. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget, give me a big positive like, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell. It really helps me out. And until next time, live small and dream big.